Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7 and we're back with a track guide for the Red Bull Ring in Group 3 with BOP on and racing hard tyres. So obviously we have default setups. Now I'm using the Subaru WRX in Pretzel for this, the Group 3 car obviously. And yeah, this seems to be the strongest car on the current BOP, which obviously could change in the future. But at the moment it is pretty strong around this combination. It's got very good acceleration and very good um, mid-range acceleration as well so top end doesn't really matter because you don't get into sixth gear pretty much on this track it's all about acceleration through like third fourth and fifth really that's where it really matters for this combination so yeah if you do enjoy these videos please hit that like button it really does help me out and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're interested in any more of these videos the aim is to get through as many group three tracks and combinations as a guide over the next year or so or whenever they pop up to help you out, help you get faster, help you improve on the game, and hopefully we can help you out in this one as well. This, When we did this lap, I think we got into the top 10 in the world. However, obviously, as the day goes on, that's probably out of the top 10 by now, but it's a reasonably good lap. Hopefully, you can find some positives for your race as well, because I do believe a lot of what we're going to give you advice here will help you out in the race. So pay attention to the gear selections with this car. It's very important. This car has a lot of low down torque. So yeah, let's get on with this guide and help you out as much as possible. Okay, so first things first, make sure that going through the, on your starting lap, make sure you get a good, strong exit from the final corner. So always concentrate on getting a nice little bit of speed out of that exit. It will help you carry a little bit more speed down the straight and start your lap. So first thing, looking for the 100 board at the end of the straight here, you're gonna see it there. We're gonna break just short of that 100 board. So you're gonna see, as we get back onto the footage here, we're gonna break just there. You can see onto the brakes, bit short of the 100 board now you're going to use the full width for the track here to rotate the car in so we're going to go all the way to the left and then as we approach the corner here you're going to see you're going to clip the right the curb on the right there with your tire you don't want to be too aggressive over the curb now you can see i'm in third gear but i go up to fourth gear before i hit that curb because that reduces the um, power and you just get better pull out of this corner in fourth gear and also it stops them um, tires spinning up uh, and making you spin out so yeah, working our way now into technically turn three because this is turn two here. So technically turn three, again, we're going to look for the 100 board there and we're going to break just short of the 100 board again. So that's what I use as my reference, breaking just short of the 100 board. Now you're going to aggressively go down through the gears and you're going to try and keep your left hand tight on that curb. And now what you want to do is go down to first gear and then just before you hit the curb, go up to third gear. We're into third gear now and clip your right hand tire on the curb on the right. That will help rotate the car through the corner. It really does help the car rotate through the corner if you get your right hand tire on that curb. And then power out of the corner in third gear. Don't do that in second. Try and get up to third gear as quick as possible. So from first gear to third gear. Out the corner, good traction. Now we're going to be looking for our next braking reference zone for turn four, which again, we use the 100 board as a reference braking again, just short of that 100 board. This will enable you to go down through the gears into second gear. Now I'm going to go down to second gear quite aggressively. However, watch, we go just up to third gear, just as we touch the curb on the right hand side, just as your right hand tire touches the curb, we're going to go up to third gear. This will rotate the car and it will also give you very good traction coming out of the corner compared to staying in second gear. So you're going to get good momentum out the corner and now you're going to be looking for your next braking reference, which is the 50 board, which I use there. 50 board there, brake just short of the 50 board again. And then again for this corner, you want to get the car rotated in and try and keep it quite close to the curb on the left. So what you see I do is down to second gear, then again, keep an eye on the gear in because we're going to go straight up to fourth gear from second gear. This is important because it gives much better traction and gives quite good exit speed so again staying close to the curb use the full width for the track accelerate out use some of the curb on the right and now we're going to be breaking for this very tricky left hand corner this is a tricky corner you see i'm just on the brakes just before the end of the green tarmac on the right there and down to third gear but then again back up to fourth gear as we put the power on now you see just as we're approaching the curb on the left back up to fourth gear keep your foot on the accelerator all the way through here do not lift because if you lift through this section you're going to lose so much time be careful of getting penalties obviously through that section but yeah if you lift you're going to lose too much now for the next braking reference we're braking in between the 100 and the 50 you can see right there just before that 50 board there right in the middle pretty much of the 150 and again we're going to use the full width for this track downshift to third gear actually as we go into the corner you see down to third and then as we approach the curb again up to fourth gear now we could have been a little bit tighter to the apex lost a little bit of time there but yeah staying in fourth gear 
all the way into the final corner. And again, I like to stay in fourth gear for this corner. You can downshift to third, but make sure you brake nice and early. You can see I'm on the brakes fairly early for this corner. Make sure you skim that curb on the right-hand side with your tire because you've got to carry the momentum. And just be cautious on the exit as you come through here that you don't run too far wide. You can see I run almost a little bit too far wide, just about keep it on the track, but you can easily pick up a penalty at the end of your lap there. And we're gonna go over the line for a one minute 28.2, which I think is a fairly solid lap. Now I do think we did that lap on stream um, within 30 minutes, so I'm sure we could improve that lap a little bit more. So yeah, watching the lap again, you're gonna see how we use the full width for the track, early upshifting from the chase camera and again you're going to see this moment into turn three which i think is really important now you saw with killian's ghost he almost drifted the car through the corner now i wouldn't try and imitate that because it's very difficult to do so yeah i think my way of doing it's a little bit easier and probably a little bit safer so you see how we go straight up to third gear use the momentum out the corner get on the throttle and then we're heading off into the next braking zone which again you're going to see that 100 board and again watch how we use the full width for the track so left hand tire onto the curb on the left you can see there left hand tire on the curb braking 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 right hand tire clips the curb up to third gear as we clip that curb use the full width for the track again third gear out of the corner and then working your way into these two tricky left hand corners now the first part i quite i don't find that tricky this corner i think you just go down second then early up shift to fourth it's the next part which is quite tricky to carry the momentum through so you've got to be careful you don't get a penalty running wide on that corner as well i could have took a little bit more speed through here i was a bit cautious because i knew i was on quite a good lap and then we're going to go into the final two corners, which again, you're going to see breaking in between that 150 board. Again, using that full width for track, you can see we use the full width for the track to throw the car in. I possibly didn't get the car in early enough there, maybe lost out on half attempt to attempt. But yeah, overall pretty solid. And we work our way down to the finishing line for a 1 minute 28.2. So yeah, hopefully this can help you out. Let me know in the comments if it's helped you out, if it improves your lap time. I do enjoy hearing people say, you know, it's improved my time and stuff like that. It's really good to read. So yeah, hopefully it does. Let me know, comment, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll be back with more of these videos in the future. Thanks again for watching, everyone.